No, I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they really know I'm with it. Let's go. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Now I keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are sick of wasting money on packs, go check out my sponsor. They offer the cheapest and most reliable way to buy coins straight from the source. Use code MAZE at checkout for 15% off your entire order. Hello, my friends. Do I have an amazing video for you today? TGG, also known as Team Get Glitchy, is a Madden crew that put together a tournament, and your boy was invited. The way this tournament is formatted is double elimination with a 1.5 million coin prize pot. One million of that prize pot goes to first place so if you win the whole tournament you get a million coins when i was playing the tournament i decided what better way to record a madden academy and show you guys my jets offense than to use it in an actual tournament so where we're picking up the tournament i'm showing you guys four games it's right after i lost my first game so i got moved to the losers bracket how it works is if you continue winning in the losers bracket you move on to the finals but in the finals you need to win twice against the other finalists so you guys are about to see are my last four games of the tournament the last two actual Actually being in the finals and I'm talking through everything that's going on my mind the whole time so you guys can hopefully learn a little bit something about this offense also if you guys want to run the exact offense I ran in this tournament I made a full comprehensive ebook that is essentially like an online class it's very organized with different formations all the different setups and all the different plays and then when you're finished with the course you can actually download a PDF which is like a cheat sheet with all the play arts that you learned throughout the whole ebook so this ebook costs $20 it's live over at mazomatic.com and so if you want an in-depth breakdown of everything I'm running you'll find it there I've already gotten a few reviews from people who bought the ebook and they are absolutely loving it and I really think this is the best way to take your game to the next level so once again the ebook is $20 over on mazomatic.com and you guys know the drill before we get into the gameplay today we're gonna go over the best comments of the day the first one coming from rain wedge hopped who said maze might not be the most popular streamer he may not be the best Madden player but no that's all and 230 of you agreed with him you're a stupid whore, Rain. And the second comment coming from SD, who said, hopefully you make back some of the money you lost on stream from this video. I won't skip the ads. And that is the right mentality you need to have, SD. I really appreciate that, man. Real ones don't skip the ads. Real ones watch them all the way through. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the extra long upload today. And hopefully you learned something along the way. Enjoy the video. Here is the team we're rocking for the tournament. We got Alex Smith at the helm for quarterback. We're rocking Inside Deadeye, Hot Route Master, and Gunslinger on our dude Alex. Then we got Route Tech on Marvin Harrison. And the last four AP are on Terry McLaurin, our other wide receiver. What we do with Terry, the way I sub in Terry McLaurin is I either put him in for Randy Moss or Isaac Bruce, depending on the play, just to try to keep him as close to me as possible. Possible, so I can always play maker him so I do move him around quite a bit which is why he's not actually in my starting lineup and then as for chemistries man we got 50 of 50 play fake 50 of 50 Las Vegas Raiders get all my boys at plus two speed and then 29 of 30 zone run we also got 40 40 sprinter and 42 of 40 brawler as for the defensive side of the ball this is where I recently switched up a lot of stuff we went away from man coverage and we put double or nothing on Montez Sweat Chase Young and Leroy Glover then we also got mid zone KO on Justin Reed and Jamal Adams and then Rod Woodson, Night Train, Namdi and Eric Allen all have Acrobat on them. I also think, no I took Antonio Cromartie's Acrobat off but all those guys got Acrobat. As for our chemistries on defense we got locked down 50 of 50 and run stuff 30 of 35 so overall we made a, we made a little changes to our scheme running mostly zone coverage now not as much man but we still mix in man a little bit here and there but that's the team for the tournament boys let's get into the games baby man getting into the first game we're actually in a madden tournament right now so this is i need to win this game i, need, I think i need to win three games to get to the finals and uh i figured what better time to show off the offense than a sweaty madden tournament the first thing i do after i set my audibles is i'm gonna go over to coaching adjustments and put my ball carrier on conservative i don't really juke or spin the only stick moves i do are really a stop and go so i don't even want to risk fumbling i'm gonna go on conservative early and uh, we're actually running out of time here on the clock. So I'm just going to let the clock run out. He should decline the penalty. Uh, but yeah, always run on conservative because fumbles are not worth it. All right, so coming out on the offensive side of the ball, the first thing I'm always going to want to do is check his abilities. He's got one step ahead and deep route KO, which means he's probably going to be running man coverage. And so because of that, I'm going to be focusing primarily on man beating concepts. Additionally, I forgot to sub in my playmaker. So I'm wasting four AP because he's not even on the field right now. And there's a man beater right there. On that out route, just low ball that on the break. That should be a catch every time. All right, so now I got Terry McLaurin in. I am going to be audibling to a man-beating play that I like. Corner slash posts. Oh, no. 
Oh, no. He got a shed. Okay. All right, so a big sack there puts us 13 yards behind this chain. So it's a second and 23. And uh, when in doubt, flood it out. Right here, I'm going to make Terry McLaurin's in route shorter so he can be playmakered. And it looks like it is man covered. We should have Isaac Bruce over there on the sideline. Oh, he's got deep route KO. Oh, that's where the deep route KO is going to kill me. All right, so now it's third and 23. This is not a good situation, obviously. But we need to get back as much yardage as we can. Uh, he's audibling quite a bit. I can't tell if this is still man coverage or not. But it looks like Bob Sanders is over the top of here. All right, let's see what, let's see what we got here. Right at his user, and Sean Taylor just not able to get there. I just tested his user, and he showed me that maybe he doesn't have too good of a user. Now caught in a fourth and six, and obviously we're going to be going for this. I'm not going to give the ball up that easy on my first drive. And uh, this is what our route combo is looking like. Again, Terry McLaurin always has that option to be playmakered. Just like that. And a great catch. We got the first down. Big conversion. He's not in double A gap anymore, so I'm actually going to guess that this is a zone coverage look right here. It is. No, it's man coverage. Nice little... Nice little route by Waller. Just beat his man. I like to see that. All right, now inside the 17, it can kind of start getting hard to score here, especially when they're running man coverage. Uh, but I have a pretty nice route combo that we're going to hit him with here. A lot of man beating routes on this on the field right now. Okay, good play by him. That That is a man beating route. I passed, let it inside, but it looks like he was able to get there and knock it away. It's always better to try to throw the ball away instead of forcing something, obviously. And uh, the last time I ran this route with Waller. He burned Sean Taylor. So we're going to see if he's running man coverage again. And hopefully... Damn, man. We take a sack right there. Going to have to settle for three. Not a great way to start. I would have liked to get seven on my opening drive. But again, taking points early is better than getting shut out or having to punt or something like that. Alright, so three points on the board. Not bad, but not ideal. Now let's go play some defense. Alright, now on the defensive side of the ball, looks like my opponent's running U-trips. Uh, and I'm going to be sitting primarily in a cover three. And obviously, you could throw that if he wants. Oh, he runs with Cunningham. I forgot Cunningham's got like 96 speed. So running is always going to be an option for him. All right, he's in bunch tight end now, which could mean PA boot over is coming. I'm going to run a little bit of a blitz here. If he sends five out, we should come in. Well, I don't know why nobody came in. <laughs> so the blitz didn't come in. What I'm doing on the right side is I'm putting out a quarter instead of a third so that if he does run PA boot over, the crosser should be taken care of. Throw it. Oh, that was the wrong guy. I didn't want you to throw to that guy. Thought you were going to motion, Ikem. Oh, I missed. Bad throw, though. Hey, the pressure made him miss the throw, so it was a win. And now third and two. We're running heavy coverage underneath. He's going to have to hit me uh, deep on the sideline if he wants to get a catch here. Or I, I say deep, but like 10 yards or deeper on the sideline. So corner route, out route. That's the only thing I'm going to give up here. Let's go, baby. Big stop. Bring up a fourth down. And this time we are sending an actual man blitz at him. We're going to be blitzing everybody. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. That is not good. I kind of want to call... I'm going to call timeout. That motion screwed everything up. That was a very big down. So I'm okay with taking a timeout right there. And now the blitz stays. We're going to... If, if the running back goes on a route, I'm going to use the running back... If he stays and blocks, I'm user blitzing. That way, we always are going to have one extra guy coming in. And uh, that's called green dogging. Sorry, this guy's taking forever to hike the ball. All right, they're running back on a route. And we green dogged him successfully. So because of that blitz, we are now getting the ball back with an opportunity to go up two possessions. All right, now I'm bringing out PA boot over. Looks like he's in man coverage. So uh, the crosser should be the one beating the man. Let's find out. Yeah, there it is. There's my crosser. A little rack animation, and there we go. Now we're in the end zone, and now we're up two possessions, and we can take our foot off the gas, play a little bit more conservative and safe, and put this game away. Now he's in strong close, which means... I don't know what it means, to be honest. <laughs> All right, so he's back in bunch tight end. I am running cover three. I am playing the sticks, so my zone drops are now set to 12 yards for my vert hooks and my seam flats. Uh, and if I'm not mabling on one side or the other, meaning I don't have a hard flat and a deeper flat... I'm usually going to play the sticks so they play like kind of in the middle because if you're running only one flat on one side and you have it set to like 25 yards, underneath is going to be wide open. If you run hard flats, deeper is going to be wide open. So having them set to like 10 to 12 yards is actually kind of nice in the sweet spot because they play a little bit of both. Uh, and I know that 
That's not something a lot of people do, but it's something I do and feel can be very effective if used in the right scenarios. Now third down. We are running double Mabel this time, so not, not playing the sticks. Uh, and I'm going to have to follow the tight end now that my third is flexed out like that. The tight end goes on a streak. He could be open, so my user needs to be aware of that. This guy's really taking up all of the play clock. Okay. Oh, good dot. I thought I was going to turn and get there, but just wasn't fast enough. All right, I'm sending a man blitz again. Actually, last time I did this, it was a man blitz. I'm going to make it look like I'm blitzing, but it's really coverage. Right, I'm going to mix things up. I've been giving him a lot of zone. This time, I'm going to give him... Oh, he's... he's Okay. All right, I'm mixing things up. I've been running a lot of zone. Okay, that's not good. Okay, that is good. The way they just switched was perfect. I've been running a lot of zone. It looks like I'm running this blitz again, uh, but it's actually going to be a heavy coverage look. I accidentally ran hard flats. There we go. Oh, my God. Don't be a good throw. Oh, my God. What a freaking throw. Just the running back bounced off the sideline. Good play by him. So, it is unfortunate that we gave up a touchdown there, but thankfully, we do have enough time on the clock to go down and get some points, and that's looking like we beat him on the very first play. Oh, my God. I almost got sticky with it, but unfortunately, we got tackled. That would have been nice to take that for a touchdown. So, another silver lining here that we got tackled. We can burn off a lot of this clock and uh, make it so he doesn't get an opportunity to get the ball back. So it looks like he's running man coverage the way the safety just came down. I would guess it's some type of blitz. How is that out of reach? It says dead eye touch pass, but it's out of reach. I don't know what that should have been a touchdown. So again, this is looking like man coverage, but everybody's playing off, which is weird. That's gotta be a touchdown, man. No way. Oh my God, I, I thought that was open. I were giving him the same look. I swear that was open, man. He was on his cornerback. <laughs> he got caught on his cornerback, and so we get the first down. And again, we get to chew off a lot of this clock. All right, first and 10 inside the red zone now. And again, it's looking like man coverage. We got Terry. And there we go. And we only left him 16 seconds on the clock. After the kickoff, he's not going to have much time at all. And that's how you close out a half, baby. Coming out of the second half, honestly, we played pretty good defense. Again, on the left side, I'm going to put a quarter just to stop any crossers coming over. But it is going to leave me to uh, be susceptible to get bombed. So I gotta watch out. If the tight end goes on a streak, I need to run with him. Actually, I'm putting him back in the third. Now that he motioned that guy over, I'm not really worried about PA boot over anymore. And if you take off Cunningham, that's okay. I'll give that up. All right, we're gonna send a blitz at him, man. The same blitz I sent earlier in the game where I green dog the running back, we're doing it again. I'm just shading inside of my man coverage. It's very aggressive. So I'm running with the running back now. Thank you. <laughs> He felt the pressure coming in, and that's probably just going to put this game away. Now we're up three possessions in the second half. And there we go. Pierre has conceded to the game. On to the next round. All right, getting into game two against J42. He's got one step ahead on Crow. So I'm guessing going to see man coverage again this game. Uh, should be interesting. All right, so we're starting on the defensive side of the ball. My opponent is running bunch. That's what I run. You have no right to run bunch. Great way to start this game, losing six yards on a run play. All right, third and 16, he's coming out in what looks like some type of trips formation. I'm expecting some type of bomb play. That, that would be my guess. Uh, just given third and long, he completely switched his... Completely switched his right. formation. We get a fumble. Let's go, man. There we go. Recovering the fumble. Leroy Glover, if you don't get your fat ass up, there we go, baby. So starting our first offensive drive from the 14-yard line, obviously a very good thing, but I want to make sure I walk away here with points, right? No turnovers. Even if I only take three, we need to walk away from this with points right here. Okay, we should have a dot. There we go. There we go. There we go. What's the flag? Don't tell me something stupid. I'm going to decline that. I'm going to decline that. All right, now from the one, I actually was not expecting him to be in goal line defense since I'm in strong wing. But we're still just going to move forward with this fullback dive. Hopefully, we get in the end zone. Looked like he fell forward. We did not get it. So what I'm about to do is I'm coming out an I-form pro, but I subbed in tight ends for my wide receivers. Because of this, I'm now able to audible to goal line. And so it didn't really do anything, but I just want to show you guys that you can do that. <laughs> we almost took a delay a game. I don't think that audible really helped anything. I didn't have much time to really do anything with it. But looking back, I should have ran stretch instead. We still get in the end zone, though. We've got reach for it on both of his running backs. He's in gun split slot. I'm going to run hard flats with some vert hooks over the middle. Uh, make him beat me deeper if he wants to beat me at all. I don't think he got the first, did he? We are going to blitz him. We are. Man blitz, third and inches. He runs the ball. Oh, my God, he's gone. 
Thank you, my night train. Ah, oh, that was scary. All right, now we're just going with a typical double Mabel look right here. He's running a weird bunch. It's like bunch halfback strong. So the, the halfback's coming out on the other side, which is interesting. I've never really played anybody who runs bunch like this. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Okay. Second and five. He's in I form close now. I'm expecting a run, obviously. And it's a play action. Okay. Okay. We get the sack. One thing to keep in mind about under center offense is that the blocking is usually very, very bad. So now he's in a third and 14 after that sack. He's blocking like everybody. And he was looking for the, the delay route to his running back. Did not get it off, though. And we get another sack. All right, so we got another stop. We get the ball back. And I'm going to come out swinging with a shot right here. PA boot over. Obviously, you know who we're looking at. That crosser, if we can get it. Nice save. Swerve rack or swerve possession catch. And that's a catch on the sideline for like 45 yards. I'm guessing man coverage again. And Darren Waller probably going to beat his man. Yes, he did. Nice rack. And that's an easy touchdown, bro. We are really, really moving this game. All right, and now for the dagger, man. We're still in the first half. But if I get another stop and I go up by three possessions, I'm getting the ball to start in the second half. So for that dagger, we're going to blitz. We're going to get another stop. It's second and 12 here. And the pressure is about to come in. Thank you. And that's the stop we needed. We're already in field goal range, too. If I, oh, I almost took that for seven. But... We're already in field goal range. I got to play it smart here. Go up by three possessions at all costs. All right. Looked like when I flipped, he had his corner go all the way across the field. I don't really know what happened there. This looks like a cover three to me. Nope. It's actually man coverage again, and we got a touchdown again. Oh, no. What was that pass lead? Oh, my God. That should have been a touchdown. Pass led it straight up, but for some reason, Alex Smith and the dead eye throw makes it go directly to the sideline. That was not... That was just not good. I don't know what that was. That's a problem with inside Deadeye is it's great for throwing on the run and stuff, but that should have been a touchdown. My pass lead with no Deadeye would have been a touchdown. So that kind of sucks. Looks like he's in a cover two. Deep post to the middle of the field should be open. No, I couldn't throw the ball because of the pressure. Deep post was wide open, man. All right, so like I told you guys, we need to get three possessions at all costs. So it's really important right now that I get a uh, at least eight yards, I think. If he doesn't play hard flats, which he probably won't, he's going to give me the field goal. There we go. There we go. And I'm at the 41. I can kick that, I think. Yes, we can. So Coach Suggestions told me to punt, but it looks like we can kick this. So this is a really big field goal right here. Because now I'm going to be up three possessions. We can maybe even get another stop. But if he doesn't get any points, I'm getting ball in the second half. This game's pretty much over. All right, so give me a spread look here. Um, I'm manning up the slots. Because, oh my God, catch the ball, buddy. Catch the ball next time. As I was saying, I was manning up the slots for stuff like that, but unfortunately, I did not get rewarded with a pick. But with only a minute left, it's third and 10. If we get a sack of some kind right here or a stop, he doesn't get some kind of yards, we're going to be looking real, real nice. Good fucking play. Good play. Right now, he's just outside of field goal range. If we can keep him that way, that would be awesome. We're running cloud flats. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to give him that look. He's going to think I'm blitzing. Actually, screw it. I am blitzing. I don't care. I am blitzing the house. Let's see if he blocks it. I'm green dogging the running back again. Hopefully, we come in. Come in screaming, baby. Fourth and 15. Come on. Big down. This is pretty much for the game. If he doesn't get this, it's over. Let's go. Pressure came in. And now we got a little bit of time because I called a timeout uh, to maybe get some more points. All right, 21 seconds. I'm going PA boot over. Y'all know the drill. See if we can make something happen. Looks like he's blitzing off the edge. And there's field goal range, man. I'm going to call that second timeout right now. We are in field goal range now. Last time I ran this right before half, the deep post to Isaac Bruce was wide open. I just didn't have time to throw it. If we could get the time here, I'm going to step up in the pocket. Uh, I'm just going to take my three, bro. It's a tournament. I'm going to play it smart. Three seconds, I'm going to call a timeout, take my three, and go into half, get the ball. All right, 20 to 0 at halftime. I am receiving the kickoff as well. Not a bad situation. This guy hasn't really had an answer for PA boot over. And so a touchdown here pretty much ends the game. And so I'm just going to come out swinging, baby. Okay, there we go. Hey, 25 yards on a drag. All right, I really want to hit this deep post to Isaac Bruce. I don't know if he's going to be sending pressure off that right side. He is. Pick it up. Little playmaker action. He, you can see his user is just going to follow that slant all the way across. So a nice little playmaker there gets him open. Gets me like 15 yards. Nice route, Waller. Good shit, baby. 
Oh my god, we almost got the first. Okay, third and 18, I'm going for this. Or uh, fourth and short, I should say. Alright, we got it. Let's go, man. Alright, so at the four, you see he didn't come out in goal line, but we have the option to actually audible now to goal line, which is what we're going to do. And now since he's not in goal line, we kind of have the numbers advantage here. We're just going to run power to the right. Hopefully get some nice blocks. There we go. Barry Sanders to the end zone. Now it's a four possession game, and that's pretty much it, man. Alright, GG's, man. Pierre has conceded the game, and with that, we go on to the finals. Getting into the finals, going against A, it's Cam. And I actually had to fight my way through the loser's bracket to get here. So the games you guys have seen thus far are the loser's bracket. And that means I got to beat him twice in the finals to win. He only needs to beat me once. So this is game one. We got to lock in and get the job done to survive in game two. All right, starting off on the defensive side of the ball, he's running Gun Bunch. Looks like he's got a Raiders theme team just like me. His abilities, matchup nightmare, deep out elite, and playmaker. So this should be interesting. If he ever hikes the ball, I don't know what he's doing. He's not making any hot rods. There we go. Come on, Cam. I thought about running there with my user, but I didn't. But hey, I'll take a short gain, start the game. I'm gonna run the ball here on second down. We get in there, we shoot the gap surprisingly. That was halfback base, so that's not gonna be happen happening every time. Uh, I got pretty lucky there to shoot that gap. Very interesting. Looks like he's punting the ball. I'm very surprised on fourth and five. He's deciding to punt, but that makes me think he's very confident in his defense. If he's willing to punt right there. So, you know what? Let's get the offense moving. All right, so it looks like he's running match coverage, which I do not like. Match is tough. Match is definitely tough. So, if he stays in match all game, that's going to suck. But we'll find out very soon. There we go. Nice little playmaker to Terry. There we go. Big gain. He was not in match that time, which is a good sign. I don't like going against match. I don't really, I don't really know how to beat it very consistently. Well, it looks like that's how you beat it very consistently. You gotta be shitting me. He dropped that. Why was that the rack animation I got? That was a touchdown. They really hoed me with that animation, man. They really hoed me with that animation. I'm not gonna go right back to it just yet. All right, so he gave me a man covers look that time. Um, if he gives me man again, this is not gonna be open, but if it's zone, which I think it is. Get up, get up, get the first, get the first. Tell me you got it. Let's go! Terry McLaurin fights his ass off, bro. I got very lucky with the animation right there, boys. I got very freaking lucky with that animation, so. Let's count our blessings while we got him. I think I really shouldn't got the first right there, but I'm not gonna complain, okay? Man coverage again. Nice little gain, I'll take that. Let's go! I saw Barry bounce off the sideline. He had an inside release on the guy, or inside leverage, I should say. And I just held triangle, got the aggressive catch animation. That was awesome. All right, first and goal. He is not in goal line, so we are going to run stretch. And, uh, oh, we, okay. Hey, we're walking in the end zone untouched. Great first drive. Had a couple risky plays, but it pays off in the end. We get in the end zone. All right, I'm running a really aggressive defense right here. Oh, my God! Oh, my God, Derwin. That would have been six if you're just a little bit faster. Uh, I feel like I got so close to a pick six right there. Would have been nice to, uh... feel like I was so close to a pick six on that last one. Good dot, man. That was a really good dot. I'm going to switch it up and run some man coverage. Green dog, green dog, the running back. We've had good success with that so far. He might run this halfback base, though. Got to watch out for that. Nope. Good freaking play, man. He's making quick reads. And he gets in the end zone. Now it's a tie game, baby. It's a big dot to start the second drive. We got about 40 yards on that. And another big dot. And now we're at the 17. He's running primarily man coverage. So I'm focusing more on my man beaters right now. All right, so now we're at the 12. I'm expecting some zone coverage the way the guys are aligned. The fact that the slot corner didn't roll to the right when I flip my play. I'm rolling out to the right if I can. Don't tell me you didn't get your feet in, Darren. Come on! Get those feet in, bro. Oh, I probably shouldn't go right back to the same play, but I'm going to. I'm going to. I probably shouldn't. It's never smart to go back to the exact same thing. Of course, he's going to run with it this time. Ooh. I tried to throw the drag. Come on, man. Drag was open. The reason that sucks is because the drag would have given us a first down from inside the five. So that's a pretty big penalty right there. We're going to go to mesh post now. Hit him over the middle. This will beat man or zone. Dude! Catch the ball! Why is that the animation I'm getting, bro? 
I've delivered dot after dot. And I got lucky at the beginning of the game. I'm getting super unlucky now, man. This is really frustrating. I was a wide open running back. I pass, let it inside low ball, and it gives me a weird, weird animation where he drops it. I, I don't like that. All right, we're running the green dog blitz again. I'm angry. Oh my god, we weren't fast enough again. We're right there, bro. We're right there. It looks like we're blitzing again, but this time we're actually running some zone coverage. Oh my god, that would almost would have been a pick. Namdi was like under that low key. Now we're going to make him hit me deeper. We got hard flats, vert hooks. We're shading underneath. Maybe we'll get lucky with a... Oh my god, that would have been a pick. He was throwing it right at me. That would have been a pick. My fourth and two, he's punting and he doesn't want to give me a free field goal. We're going to have about 30 seconds and three timeouts to go down and get a field goal because I would love being up at least six. Because then coming out in the second half, if we even get a field goal in the second half, we'll be up two possessions. Let's see if he's got safety help, man. That's uh, that's going to determine if this play works or not. It's cover three. This will be a cover three beater. It's man coverage. We're going to hit the playmaker. I got to call that timeout. So it looks like he's running cover two man. I actually have a way to beat cover two man. If we get Marvin Harrison right here, this could be a touchdown. If he gets the right release. Wrong release. Ah, uh, you know, I'll just take that. I'll take that sack. That's fine. All right, we're running it again, man. Third and ten. Get up field. Oh, no, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. Uh, I got to punt that. A touchdown coming out in the second half makes this game a hell of a lot more comfortable. If we can go up by two possessions. So I'm assuming he's going to be blitzing here. He's not. Dude, what? How is he playing that, dude? I had him beat. Not going to lie, boys. On that last play, I thought that was a touchdown. The way I racked it and everything. I thought it was going to get over the top, but somehow it looked like the throw might have been underthrown a little bit. All right, this could be a blitz. There we go. We got, all right, we got a first down. It's okay. It's okay. All right, I'm going to run inside switch. It's looking like if he motions. All right, it's cover three or match. He did not motion with him. There we go. That's a dot. That's a dot. Why did you stop? Catch and run does not mean catch and stop, Terry. Come on. When in doubt, flood it out, baby. You know the drill. When in doubt, what do we do? We flood it out, and that's another dot. We're moving. All right, we got to diagnose if it's man or zone. Fucking shit. Damn it, thank God. That was not a big sack. All right, second and ten now. Looks like he might. No, he's not blitzing. I keep thinking he's going to blitz. But he's never blitzing. Just like that, though, we're inside the five. A nice little playmaker dot. Because uh, I saw his user was kind of lurking over the middle. We had a little space. And now we're going to run the ball. Well, like I said, he's not in goal line. Um, I'm going to audible to goal line and run fullback dive. We should be able to get a nice push because he's not in goal line. And look at that. Down to the one. I'm going to hurry up. Oh, I tried to hurry up. Hopefully he does not have fullback dive defense. Let's find out. He does. And oh, my God, we got stuffed. We got to go for it. Hurry up. Hurry up. I'm going straight to this stretch. Straight to the stretch. Straight to the stretch. Straight to the stretch. Barry into the end zone. That's a two possession game. Now what I did there is I ended up running not goal line because he was in goal line. The whole point of doing this is if they come out in goal line, you run the stretch. If they come out in a regular run defense, you you audible the goal line. We're sending a blitz at him. Let's go, baby. Derwin James underneath on the user lurk. Oh my God, we couldn't return it for seven. Now we're going back to this play we had earlier with Waller. I'm hoping that this guy doesn't use it. It actually might be man coverage. That would be bad if it's man coverage. We want this to be zone. It's cover three. Darren Waller will be wide open. Oh, no. I double teamed. Okay. What? Intentional grounding? I was sprinting out. How is that grounding? I do not know how the hell that was grounding, but it is what it is. Now second and goal, which sucks, from the 22. What looked like a surefire touchdown... No way. And now it's a fucking interception. Oh my god, I just ruined this. I really just playmaker too many one too many times. Dude, I just gave him seven points. Oh my god. I'm so mad at myself, bro. I didn't even need a playmaker that. He was open. I don't know why I playmakered it. There was no reason to do that. Don't do that. Man, just like that, I opened the door for him to be back in this game. It's no one's fault but my own. But I'm still a little disappointed by it. We are gonna audible to this. This is one of my favorite plays in the whole playbook. Tight end corner. Motion over Harrison. We should have two crossers. Two crossing posts. Why is 
the throw behind him. He had him beat on pass, leading it straight out, and the throw is behind him. That's a problem with uh, inside dead eyes. A lot of times you get throws like that, and it sucks. Oh my god, another. That's just a. Th I can't believe this game just got flipped around like that. I cannot believe this game just got flipped around like that, bro. I'm so fucking pissed. That's just unlucky, dude. It's really just unlucky. The reason that really pisses me off is the fact he didn't even blitz. He blitzed four guys, just a regular pass rush, got an insta shed, and the throw out of sack results in a pick six, essentially. And that's just Madden screwing me over. And it's really frustrating. All right, big gain right there. That's pretty good, pretty good. We got to get this ball moving, and I want to get in the end zone. I'm not really going to be happy unless we get a touchdown. A, a field goal obviously doesn't cut it here. All right, a couple yards on the ground. That's okay, too. No! It's really on me, bro. I cannot believe I'm fucking choking this right now, dude. <laughs> Big hit right there. Would have loved to fumble, but we'll take it. Underneath and inside. No. Let's go! Give it to me! Give it to me, Derwin! Let's go! Let's freaking go! It finally pays off. We've been so close to getting that lurk all game, and it finally pays off. We got the job done, baby. All right, if he has got that, there's no way he caught that. Now he's in field goal range. He just threw it into coverage, and that was a catch. How did he catch that? All right, ice kick to tie the game, man. If I could block it, I'd be very happy. Obviously. Oh, it's short. It's short. He didn't get full power. Let's go, man. He couldn't get the ice kick. And game one of the finals goes to us. Man, this pass right here at the end of the game, I he was open for a second. Man, this throw at the end of the game, bro. Just like right into traffic, night train right there to make a play. And he still caught it, man. Thankfully, he missed that field goal, but that was just, for the game, that would have been brutal. Something to keep in mind is last game, he had host, but this game, I have host. And I will say, the delay was pretty bad, so I am very excited to not have to deal with that shit anymore. As we're starting off on the offensive side of the ball. He's running match, of course. No way. Holy shit. I wasn't even on conservative, so I'm pretty lucky that didn't result in a fumble. That would have been a terrible way to start the game. Throw that bitch away. I don't want it. I don't want to see it. Nope. Get it out of here. Right, here we go. Running this play again. Don't know if it's going to be man or zone. No way. I can't believe I threw that, bro. I'm really, I'm really choking it right now, bro. I'm making blind reads, living up to my name as a blind YouTuber. Honestly, the sad part about that was, um, honestly, the sad part about that was my playmaker underneath was wide open. I just didn't throw it. That's on me. That was on me, man. Big hit right there from Night Train. All right, we're running cover two with hard flats here. And uh, trying to get some pressure and see if he's blocking enough people. That was a hard flat. I would have loved, I would have loved a pick, but I'll take a loss of three. At right, third and five now, running a little bit more coverage this time. He's got the crosser open. Me, please, please, not me. Nandi, no! Nandi! That's gotta be a pick! Oh my god, dude. Absolutely brutal. Absolutely freaking brutal, man. I'm hurt. Dude, I gotta get picks on these. That's a hard flat. He is throwing a flat. Why am I not getting animations? All right, we're sending him some heavy pressure off the right side. The goal is obviously to not let him roll out to the right. I'll take that. Just make a tackle. Hold him to three. I'll take that. That's okay. All right, another opportunity to redeem myself, man. I need to, I need to make up for these Stevies, bro. All right, this play is going to turn. This play is going to depend on if he has 
deep help with man coverage. Looks like he does. I'll take a few yards there. A little playmaker dot there. See, I got I got to get better at utilizing my playmaker at the right time. That's my first completion. We get 18 yards out of it. I'm happy with that. All right, man beating right, routes right here all over the field. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go, Darren Waller, and we're in the end zone for seven. Just took a minute to get warmed up, but we're good to go now, baby. Offense is grilling. I feel like I've been having a lot of success with this green dog blitz I was running earlier and kind of what won me the game last game. So we're going to run it again. Again, green dog in the running back. So if he blocks, we blitz in. Yep, coming in there. Good dot, man. Namdi Asma getting burned right there by Jerry Rice. All right, now at the 16... We are going to be running a man coverage look with two vert hooks right here. There we go. That, that's fucking, that, that's a bag. That is a bag. Let's go, baby. That was perfect defense. All right, second and 21. If we can hold him to three here at the end of half, that would be perfect. I would really like a lead. I really want a lead going into halftime because he's coming out with the ball. Big third down right here. All right, yeah, you take that. Go out of bounds. Save some timeouts, save some clock, take your three. All right, 50 seconds, three timeouts. I want to go down and get at least three. It's man coverage, I can tell. Let's go, good dot, way to start the drive. I like that. All right, now we got a little Z spot action. It's bagged over on the right side. I'm gonna hit the playmaker, man. Nope, I gotta throw, oh no, I want to throw that away. Oh, that's so tough. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the drill. He's going to think PA boot over is coming, but I'm putting my tight end on a... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's really going to be... Bro, they're killing me with the intentional grounding out here. The sack absolutely killed us. Going to have to punt this one away. He's got a little time. Hit him. Hit him! Oh, big hit from Night Train. I like to see that. All right, he very well could get in field goal range. He very easily could get in field goal range here and take the lead going into half. I obviously don't want that to happen. So we're playing some, some heavy coverage defense. Don't want to give him any easy yards. Oh, he wanted to throw it. He wanted to throw that, man. Let's go. That's huge. That's so big. Defense coming up big. Sending pressure. Every oh, we f I thought we fumbled again. That's a big turnover to start the second half, man. We score here. We go up by eight. I want it. I need it. Get in the end zone, man. This game just got a hell of a lot more comfortable. He's been having a lot of trouble with his blitz right here. The soft squad on the left will convert to man coverage as long as there's nothing in the flats. Oh, man. Good good dot. That was a really good dot. And I got to start mixing it up. I can't get too predictable out here. Makes it up back to a double Mabel cover three. Not blitz in the house this time. Obviously, as he dotted me on the last one. Wow, that was a bad throw. He tried to send his tight end. It looked like maybe on a delay fade. Uh, it wasn't able to release him, though. We get the sack. Now it's third and 20. If I don't give up a first here, we could put this game away. At third and 20, he showed me he has that clear out play, which is one play touchdown against cover three. So I'm deep having the right side corner so we don't get beat for one play touchdown. And I'll give up that. I'll give up that. You know, take your 10, 15 yards. You can make it a fourth and long. Fourth and 12 now. And uh, obviously, he's going to go for it. I'm going to blitz his dick off for the game, baby. I get the stop here. We're good to go. I'm coming. I'm coming for the cheeks, baby. Let's go! User Blitz comes in, we get the stop. We're already in field goal range, and it's in the third quarter. All we gotta do is not turn the ball over in this game is ours. Hey, for the bread, I'm coming out. PA boot over. Let's not get screwed here. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, that was so dirty. We almost got him. We're running inside zone here from the 10. I don't really feel comfortable passing right now, especially because. Oh, 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 especially because the run game's working that nice. Now we're up two possessions late in the third. We play some conservative defense. This game is over. All right, no one play touchdowns. That's my goal. I'm going to be back in dudes up. That. All right, so no one play touchdowns. That's my goal. I'm going to be back in dudes off, deep having all that good stuff. I also don't like that shit either. Got to make sure we do not give up the sidelines. All right, night train shouldn't be giving up the sidelines anymore. I'm going to deep have Namdi again. 
Ah! Okay, 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 okay. Right, I gotta watch the running back. If the running back goes in the... Nice. That's exactly what we wanted, right? And Terry doesn't get him. Alex Smith, you're too slow also. Is Barry Sanders the chosen one? We just threw a pick six. Why are we, why are we letting him in the game, bro? Why, why are we letting him in the game? We gotta get this two-point conversion. If he doesn't get this, the game's over. All right, there we go. Game's over, baby. <laughs> There we go. Sorry, I had to do it, man. I had to. I had to. All right, man. Pretty good final game. As you guys can see in the second half, the score kind of took off here. Play of the game, I think, right here. The play of the game, I think, was right here on this fourth and 12. I decided to blitz the house. He blocked his running back, so I ran in with my user and just got that quick user sack. He didn't have time to make a read or anything. Uh, and, and that really is what won us the game right there, I think. That was, that was the play of the game. <laughs>